the one thing separating you as a filmmaker from being a Hollywood professional and an amateur is a matte box. Okay, well that's not entirely true at all, but my name is Brady and welcome back to the classroom. Today we're talking matte boxes, what they are, what they do, how they help you in your day-to-day -day routine, and also talking about Polar Pro's new addition to their Basecamp ecosystem, which is their matte box line. So we know that a matte box does make our camera look cool. Of course, you show up to a shoot without a matte box and your client's like, okay, he probably knows what he's doing, but you slap one of these on and you're the best of the best all of a sudden and the client trusts you and you just look so cool, right? No. But what are the other benefits of having a matte box? Well, there are a few different benefits to a matte box. As we know, neutral density filters are a crucial tool to have in our filmmaking kit. But oftentimes lenses, especially cinema lenses in particular, don't even have filter threads on the front of the lens, on the front of the element, to screw on our ND filter. So in that tragic event, how do you apply an ND? And the answer is a matte box. So for example, you've got this photo lens here on your camera, just a typical Canon photo lens. and. You got your filter, you screw it on. Once you find the filter threads, oh, really, where is it? I'm not playing right now, I just can't. I suck at this. There we go. You screw it on, it's good to go, you're ready to go. But say, for example, you now have a cinema lens, say this vase in anamorphic. You go to put on your neutral density filter and there's nowhere to, there's no filter threads on the front of these cinema lenses, so you can't screw it on. So the answer becomes a matte box and what you do you just go ahead and take this, you clamp that on just like that. And now it's not going anywhere. So now, bam, there's your neutral density filter. You go ahead, you drop that in. That's all you do. Tighten it, then you're good to go. Now the cool thing about Polar Pro's matte box is that they actually come with variable NDs, meaning you have the ability to adjust it. So you just turn this little knob there and there you go. You get darker, you get lighter and it just works so magically. And there you go. So now you just have to buy one of like the two to five stop and then the six to nine stop if you need a darker one. And it's all there, all in one. You don't need to buy any other filter threads or filter sizes. It's all just this one drop in glass there. Now I bet the majority of you sitting here watching this probably have photo lenses with threads on the front that you can just screw on filters. And you probably think that this doesn't apply to you, but it does. I bet you have at least more than one lens and those lenses have different filter thread sizes. Well, with a matte box, you can just buy one drop-in filter and then you never ever again have to worry about different filter sizes or different thread sizes or step-up rings or anything like that because trust me, you get cold weather, you get wind, rain, throw that in there. They're a pain in the neck trying to screw them on left and right. You're going crazy trying to find that filter thread. So now with a matte box, it's super easy. It's all in one going in the front of your lens. And Polar Pro sent me their base camp and they make it super easy to just get a couple of these different filter rings. You screw it onto your lens like so. And then you take the matte box on the back end of it, slide that in there and then clamp it down and you're good to go. It's not going anywhere. It's a lightweight matte box. Feels like nothing is even there. And then this just detaches. You can put it back on. You can clamp it to your rod, set up your 15 millimeter rod setup. And there you go. It's super universal to your lens kit and super easy and quick to switch out lenses without unscrewing filters and all of that. You just unclamp it, clamp it back on, then you're good to go, you're ready to roll. Now the other benefit of a matte box is it helps control sun flare. And I know you're saying that we want all the flariness that flariness can get and all the sun flare, but this prevents all the bad sun flare from coming in that we don't want. And oftentimes when sun comes into a lens without a matte box in the way, it'll bounce into the lens and refract a bunch of different ways. And that way you get a bunch of haziness and lose a lot of the contrast. So if you have a matte box, especially a matte box with a flag that you can put on top, now you have more control of the sun as it comes and you can pull the flag down if the sun is really bouncing in and refracting all through the lens or you can pull it up or with the base camp, you can just pop it off and then it's out of the way. Now where things really get interesting when it comes to a matte box is adding in different effects filters like diffusion and such. And now Polar Pro with their new base camp ecosystem upgrade, they give you the option to have their mist, their mist heavy to add a really stylistic look to your shot. You can get mist and variable ND all in one there's graduated ND and a bunch of different options. And the one that I'm most intrigued about is something called a blue morphic and a gold morphic filter. Yeah, sounds intriguing, right? Now I'm only gonna talk about a couple of these options since they're just low on stock at the moment and I only have a few different ones, but one of the really cool ones is the new Mist Heavy. And that, I mean, you can see maybe 
there's a lot of like, it looks like dirt and dust on it. And that just does a great job of taking highlights and blooming them and refracting them. But the thing is with diffusion filters is that they can get really pricey really fast, especially if you're buying a bunch of different sizes like we'd mentioned before. So now with this one, this is the Mist Heavy. It's easy to just get one with the matte box, drop it in, and now you're one and done. You never have to buy it again. And then you got some really cool diffusion on the front of your lens just to stylize up your project. But the one that I was really intrigued about getting in is this new blue morphic filter and the gold morphic filter, but I only have the blue at the moment. And it gives you the ability with all these blue lines, if you can see vertically or horizontally, whichever way you move it, to get those anamorphic flares that everybody loves. And with the blue morphic, you get a lot more of a blue, strong, cool flare. And then with the gold morphic, of course, you're gonna get a warmer, golder flare. And I'm really excited for that one to come as well. Now, these aren't in any way a direct replacement for an anamorphic lens. I mean, looking at them next to each other with the vase and anamorphic that I used, you definitely see some imperfections and some differences that don't give you the authentic anamorphic look that a lot of people love. But that doesn't mean you can't use them to get a really cool shot, whether it's a cool anamorphic flare or just a cool flare of any sort for that matter, or in another scenario where say you're working on a project with anamorphic lenses, but say you need a shot that's really tight or you need a macro shot and you don't have that in anamorphic form. What you could use this for quite possibly is throwing it on with your spherical lenses and still keeping that consistency of anamorphic flaring and stuff like that on your spherical lenses in your anamorphic project. Now with a matte box, I'm not gonna sit here and say that they're a necessity to have in your kit. That's not the truth, but what they are is a tool to make your life a little bit easier. Now switching lenses and filters and all of that becomes a little bit easier. You're gonna get a little bit better quality with stopping the flaring and such that we talked about. And also you get a little bit more protection on the front of your lens, especially with a flag like that, especially with these, you can flap it down, it's closed, nothing's getting in there. No dirt, debris, rocks, sharp objects. And even without a flag, you still have one more tier in front of your glass element where things might not hit or might not run into. So I'm not gonna be sitting here telling you that you need a matte box in your filmmaking kit, but they look cool, you've seen what they do, and it's really ultimately just up to you to decide that if you would truly benefit off of having a matte box in your kit. It may be a little bit more expensive upfront, but it essentially will save you money down the line from repeatedly buying multiple filters. So that's all that I do have for you guys today regarding matte boxes in general and the Polar Pro ecosystem upgrade. Go ahead and check it out. There's a lot more details. I'll put a link down below. But if you guys found this helpful, entertaining, educational, whatever, go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button. So bring in another buddy in the classroom to sit next to at the desk, laugh about so I can yell at you and give you detention. But that's all I've got one more time. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next week and consider this class dismissed.